A pedestrian gets mowed down by a New York City cab only to discover that its corporate ownership structure limits what he can recover. In Wolkowski v. Carlton, the New York Court of Appeals pondered whether a pedestrian could pierce the corporate veil to reach the owner's assets. John Wolkowski was walking down the street in New York City when a taxi cab ran him down, injuring him severely. The cab was owned by Sion Cab Corporation. William Carlton was the controlling shareholder of this corporation. Carlton was also the controlling shareholder of 10 different taxi corporations operating out of the same garage, each of which had two cabs registered in its name. Each cab carried the minimum liability insurance required by law. Walkowski sued Carlton, Sion, and all Carlton's other companies. He alleged that all the companies functioned as a single corporate entity. He also argued that he should be able to hold Carlton personally liable because the corporate structure was an attempt to defraud members of the public who might be injured by cabs. The trial court granted Carlton's motion to dismiss for failure to state a cause of action. The appellate division reversed, holding that Wolkowski had stated a cause of action under the doctrine of respondeat superior and could hold Carlton personally liable for damage caused by his corporations. Carlton appealed to the New York Court of Appeals.